Hey guys, it looks like tonight is my opportunity to do some uh, astrophotography here at Flamborough Valley Campgrounds. My family got here about two weeks ago. It's getting close to the time that we're about to leave, um, but we had a great time here. Uh, this place has lots of uh, really fun uh, attractions, one being uh, its water park. Uh, it has a pool and a hot tub, but uh, it also has this really cool splash pad for kids that can, uh, they can go enjoy themselves and get squirted in the face. <laughs> um, but yeah, thankfully it was opened up. Uh, not too much is opened up because of the COVID situation, but this splash pad and pool uh, were opened up for the kids and uh, Alex had a great time there. Um, actually, the whole family did. It was uh, a lot of fun and uh, yeah, so far this campground has been pretty good. This does kick off our official journey to uh, go across Canada. We have left our place uh, in the east end of Toronto and are now in the west end, which is uh, close to Hamilton. Anyways, I don't have too much time before the sun goes down, so uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I'm gonna be going after M17, the Omega Nebula, which is also known as the Swan Nebula. I plan to be using my Raza tonight, uh, so I should get a good frame on that object. And if I'm lucky enough and the clouds stay away for long enough, I'll be able to get Comet Neowise. Neowise? Neowise. I already shot this comet once this week and uh, I just had a quick opportunity out at 4 o'clock in the morning. I grabbed my Canon here and uh, used about 105 millimeters of uh, focal length uh, and I did get a pretty decent uh, video but I want to get a, a better shot with the Raza and see if I can get more detail, uh, do a bit more uh, longer exposures and uh, yeah, just see what I can get. Um, it's really hit and miss with this comet. I've tried a few nights and I was only successful on one of them uh, because the clouds start rolling in in the morning at least at this location. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. The weather uh, channel says it's gonna be uh, clear, so we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna get started because again, the sun is gonna go down soon and I need some of this light. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Alright guys, this is the battle station for tonight. I'm set up on this side of the rig in the outdoor kitchen, um, and my rig is set up on the other side of the RV. The reason why I set it up on that side is because uh, I'm blocking some of the park lights that are coming from over here. Um, so it's set up in a nice spot where I can see the North Celestial Pole and then track my object throughout the night. My target for tonight is going to be in the south. Uh, I already pulled her a line, so I'm ready in that sense. Um, but I'll be turning my telescope around to the south and uh, starting to take frames around 11 o'clock or so once dusk actually settles. And I should be collecting data until 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, but fingers crossed, uh, no clouds come or any other anomalies. And if I'm really lucky tonight, I'm going to be able to capture uh, Comet Neowise with my Celestron Raza 8 inch telescope. Uh, anyways, I need to wait for this dusk to set, so uh, I'm going to go back inside and hang out with the wife until that time comes. One of the things that I know I'm going to be fighting with tonight is the mosquitoes. There are so many out there and uh, this just doesn't cut it. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for uh, maybe homemade or, or store-bought um, mosquito repellent, I'm interested. <laughs> Alright, so I'm taking my first frames on M17 and uh, everything looks to be going well so far. Uh, BHD2 guiding is a bit rough, but uh, it's, it's holding steady, I guess and uh, focus is great, everything else is good. My settings for my camera tonight are uh, 120 gain, unity gain, and I'm shooting at 120 second exposures. Um, yeah, we'll see how many I can get done in the night, and uh, yeah. It's been a great night so far. Uh, I think I'm done shooting the Omega Nebula right now. Um, I'm doing my flat frames and then, then I'll do my dark frames after that. Um, I can see the moon starting to rise, which means uh, Comet Nemois 
uh, Nemo-wise? Comet Nemo-wise is a uh, Neo-wise. <laughs> Comet Neo-wise is uh, about to uh, uh, rise. Oh, it's early in the morning. Uh, Comet Neo-wise is about to uh, be visible from where I am right now. So uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Um, get this telescope uh, ready to go again, and uh, at 4 o'clock I should be able to have view on Comet Neewise. When I shot this comet last week, it was my first time seeing a comet with my naked eye, and I was definitely blown away. Um, I'm so glad I was able to capture it as well with my Canon camera, um, but I'm really excited to see what my Razak can do on this comet. If I don't see you again, I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, yeah, hopefully you liked what you enjoyed. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed what you liked. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. After some cloud coverage, Comet Neowise appeared above the tree line. My cannon was perfectly placed and was able to capture some great images on the comet. As a telescope, didn't have as much luck. From its view, the comet passed through the trees and was faded out by the sun. Though I was able to salvage a few frames of the comet passing between the trees. Those six frames gave me this. The Raza did capture some great data on M17, so getting it out wasn't a complete waste of time. The night before we left Flambro, we had one more opportunity to see Comet Neowise. By this time, the comet had swung past the sun and was visible during dusk. We spent the night watching the comet with some neighboring RVers. It was a beautiful night and a perfect way to end our time at Flambro Valley Campground.